We're talking to Marshall from, Ein, from van Einstein, a Dutch name actually, van Einstein. <laughs> you are looking at uh, platform brands and product brands. Uh, tell me about it. What, what do you see? So, well, one of the things we've observed is that there's a rise of a platform business model as opposed to a product business model. If you look at what's happened with the rise of Apple or Google or Amazon, they're building ecosystems that help them innovate faster. Because if you look at product companies, you know, unfortunate cases like Nokia or BlackBerry, they've actually declined in market share and declined in market presence. Just last week, Interbrand released its survey of top 100 global brands, and Nokia is beginning to fall off, where for the first time since they've been keeping records, a product company was not at the number one slot. Coca-Cola, which had been the reigning champion for 13 years, is now fallen to number two to be replaced by uh, Google and by Apple. So it's really quite remarkable how we see the rise of platforms over products. So what would you advise Coca-Cola to do? Oh, um, one of the best examples is to follow the example um, firm like um, Nike. Nike is a consumer product with shoes. They've actually added uh, functions that can be embedded into other products. So for example, in Nike's case, they've added um, you know, social benchmarking data capture that gives you metrics on your behavior. If you can build a community around your product, so Coca-Cola can build a community around that. Nike is connecting it to sports. Um, Coca-Cola could connect this to entertainment. It could connect it to children's games, connect it to other kinds of things that connect their brand and build communities around the product the way Nike has done with their shoes. So why are these platform brands rising? What, what, is, what is the reason? There's a positive feedback when your, e your innovation ecosystem starts to help you out. So in the case of Apple, for example, they've got lots and lots of third parties bringing new content to the platform. So they've got music and video. Um, in Amazon's case, they've actually got folks selling books and additional content through the Amazon platform. Google is now per working as search service. It's being embedded in other people's products. When they can take your product and embed it in their own products, you've got other people acting as your distribution channel and innovating on top of your service. So it's still hard for me to understand that uh, that is the reason why these brands are so successful. Well, it, it creates a kind of chain reaction. So imagine, for example, that when Google is launching Android, it subsidizes developers. That causes new apps to be created. This causes more users to join the Android platform, which causes more developers to join the platform, which causes more users to join the platform. This positive feedback creates a chain reaction that causes the platform to take off over time. That's one of the key reasons why it grows so quickly. So that meaning also that uh, things that people like, you will see it better and then you can elaborate on that. Oh, a beautiful element of the platform is that your users will often tell you if there are missing products on there. Um, so a favorite example of that, if you've seen the Apple ad where you can hold an iPad up to the sky and it will identify a member of the Zodiac. Apple didn't build that. Apple didn't even conceive of it. The ecosystem told them a really neat idea and then went out and built it. But you need to set it up in a way that other people can build on top of what you do in order that they can identify those new products for you. So, and then I'm on Coca-Cola and I'm in deep shit because I only sell a drink. If the only thing you're doing is selling sugar water, that's trouble. Uh, if you can sell experiences, if you can connect it to media events, rock bands, if you can actually um, find ways to bring people together in a community around your product where they can enjoy the product as part of that experience, then there's another opportunity. It's pretty difficult, but yeah. Then again, if you look at Starbucks, they sell also a drink. How do you compare Starbucks to Coca-Cola then? Oh, beautiful example. You've really moved up market. So if you look at just coffee beans, that sells for very, very low margin. If you look at branded coffee, that sells for more. If you sell the experience, which is something that Starbucks has done, that sells for even more. You need to go up market in building the community and the experience around the product. And Starbucks has been remarkably good at it. Think of the music. They've also brought into the stores. They're selling that also as part of the experience. They brought in the internet as another part of the experience. You come and join that and you can enjoy the rest of the afternoon, not just a cup of coffee.